Good morning, and thank you for joining this webcast today. These are exceptional times, which call for an exceptional way of conducting our AGM. The President and CEO annual address to shareholders usually describes the progress and performance of the past year and gives insight on plans and priorities for current and future years. My address today will focus first on our response to the coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic. All the and Bank Financial Group team members extend our thoughts and well wishes to those impacted by the illness and the turmoil it has created. Not since the 2008 global financial crisis have we seen as important a situation, and rightly so, a proportional and coordinated response from authorities, regulators, and industry. Laurentian is proud to be part of a strong Canadian banking system, one that has proven that it can successfully weather the storm. Laurentian Bank Financial Group has taken active measures to ensure its financial strength and stability during and after this pandemic. We have always managed capital, liquidity, and credit prudently, and will continue to do so during these times. We have access to the funding and liquidity programs that the Bank of Canada and the Canadian Mortgage Housing Corporation announced, and we are taking every reasonable measure to maintain a healthy financial stance. Our group is rated investment grade and is the only Canadian medium-sized bank with two credit ratings, A low from DBRS and triple B from SAP. With financial measures actively monitored and firmly in place, our main priority is to be there for our customers and ensure the safety of our team members. Most of our financial clinics, business centers, operations and call centers have remained open and we've been continuing our mission to help our customers improve their financial health through these difficult times. During this crisis, day-to-day -day banking continues to be accessible 24-7 using mobile or online banking and customers can continue making certain transactions at ABMs, ours, or by using either the Interact or Exchange networks available from coast to coast. Considering financial hardships that are a direct result of COVID-19, we have implemented programs to support customers like skipping payments to help find solutions for their needs. Our team members have been hard at work helping our customers over the internet, phone, and in person when other means are not possible. At the onset of the crisis in January, we assembled a dedicated crisis management team to monitor the situation. When it became obvious that there would be serious impacts here at home, we activated our business continuity plans to ensure minimal interruptions of service to our customers. Our approach was to stay nimble, flexible, and adjust to ever-changing circumstances while adhering to the recommendations of public health officials. For instance, we took precautionary measures early on by eliminating all non-essential business travel. We also began monitoring personal travel and asked team members to self-isolate if they had traveled or felt ill. We secured the health and safety of our customers and team members by increasing the intensity of cleaning and installing hand sanitizer dispensers at our various offices and locations. We kept the lines of communications open by providing all team members, customers and shareholders and regulatory bodies with information about COVID-19 and the measures we were taking in response. And lastly, we ensured our critical team members could continue to help our customers by separating our critical workforce to different locations and increasing the number of team members that could work from home. All this would not have been possible without the support, dedication and cooperation of our teams. I am proud to work with a strong team of individuals who really stepped up bravely and considering uncertainty to be there for our customers, especially on the front lines. I sincerely thank the team and want them to know how much their efforts are appreciated. Now on to the state of the organization. Our accomplishments of 2019 have brought us closer to help Canadians improve their financial health as we have started offering the convenience of digital transactions with the value of financial advice given by our financial professionals. 2019 was a year of strategic achievements. We implemented the foundation of a new core banking system and all B2B bank products and most of our loans to business customers 
have been migrated to the new platform. This has notably allowed us to launch our fully digital offer to help Canadians meet their everyday personal banking needs, first through the B2B bank network of advisors and brokers, and then direct to customers under the LBC Digital brand. We have welcomed thousands of new customers and acquired new deposits. Checking, high interest savings and GIC accounts can now be opened with straight through on the spot processing, online or on mobile devices. With these launches, the Rention Bank is now a coast to coast operation. Digital is important to our customers for their daily transacting but so is human intervention for complex transactions. We now operate over 80 financial clinics in Quebec, where personal and business customers are encouraged to seek the advice of financial professionals and build long-term relationships. We're having real conversations with customers about their goals and how we can help them get there. On the labor front, the ratification of a new collective agreement in 2019 along with the change in composition of the collective bargaining unit, significantly improves our ability to serve customers and implement process efficiencies. Now, the bargaining unit covers customer-facing positions almost exclusively, and none can be added. As well, the agreement puts the emphasis on individual performance rather than on tenure and job security. We achieved, we achieved good growth in loans to business customers, namely in real estate, equipment, and inventory financing, and this contributes to changing the group's business mix and enhances diversification. Despite some great strategic achievements and stable risk-weighted assets in 2019, total assets declined and financial results were impacted, largely due to preventative measures taken to prepare for a possible work conflict. Since ratification of a new collective agreement, we have seen a gradual return to normal operations. Looking forward, we have not changed the end goal of completing the transformation, setting strong foundations, working on profitable growth, and enhancing performance. Transformation is hard, but doing things that are hard is worthwhile. We all know that banking is changing. We see it every day. Digital is a way of life, and pandemics like COVID-19 only highlight the importance and necessity of advancing our technologies and eliminating all non-essential paper-based transactions. Through that lens, we will remain focused on our transformative deliverables to take this organization into the next decade and beyond. For personal customers, for basic banking needs, the end goal is to enhance the customer experience, adding functionality, transactions and products to the digital platform, and promote our offer to Canadians from coast to coast with a focus on broadening and deepening the customer relationship. From an advice perspective, we believe that regardless of whether customers come through us, come to us through our own financial clinics or through the advisor and broker channel, improved financial health is the primary outcome. Every day, our professionals are having productive conversations with customers, accompanying them through their life cycle as they buy a home, develop personal goals, and plan for retirement. For business customers, our successes are rooted in our solid expertise and the strong relationships we have built in real estate financing, commercial banking and equipment and inventory financing. Our plan is to continue to operate in niche markets where we can have a real impact on our customers' businesses. For institutional customers, we are committed to harnessing more opportunities with our institutional customers. We have appointed a new leadership in capital markets and with that comes renewed energy and fresh perspectives. From a technology perspective, the largest initiative is the completion of our core banking initiative and the migration of all remaining customers to the new platform, followed by the initiative to move to the advanced internal ratings based methodology. Finishing the core banking replacement for financial clinics will allow the decommissioning of legacy IT systems improve efficiency, and most importantly, greatly improve the personal customer experience by giving them access to modern digital interfaces. It will give small business customers access to a new online banking platform, which will provide better self-service and cash management solutions. Moving to the advanced methodology improves our ability to manage credit quality, 
and measure appropriate risk and the amount of capital to support each loan. Prior to the pandemic, we had started making additional investments in infrastructure to expand operations in the U.S. and further upgrade customer-facing technology to improve the business client experience. At this point, even if these goals are still in front of us, in the context of the evolving global pandemic, a situation that is affecting all companies and industries with lasting effects, we must manage prudently and prioritize actions that put the needs of our customers first. As we speak, except for financial clinics, most of our team members are now adapting from working from home. For personal customers and small business owners, our teams are engaged in helping those impacted to get through this crisis and manage their financial health. For larger companies, our account managers have been reaching out to determine how we can help at this time. And team members in capital markets have been there from the beginning of this crisis to help manage their investments of their institutional customers and provide insight into what can only be called a global reset. 2020 was supposed to be the year during which we would complete major initiatives and focus on growth, a year when the heavy lifting would come to an end. It is now reasonable to expect the transformation initiatives will be slow or delayed by a minimum of 6 to 12 months, although it is too soon to tell what the full extent will be until we see some signs of recovery. It is also too soon to tell what the financial impacts of the crisis will be, but we will continue to drive organic growth in certain segments where there is opportunity and general efficiency initiatives as we address both sides of the equation, revenue and expenses. We are building a better and different banking experience. It has been a long road, but as we stand today, a lot of the work of our transformation and investments are behind us. But in these challenging times, we must let go of the things that are out of our control and focus on what is on, under our control. Focus on the reason why we undertook this transformation, this ambitious and worthwhile undertaking. The answer is quite simple. We had to for our customers. And so we will continue forward because we are approaching the end and we are progressing towards growth, efficiency and future performance. We're getting it done. We're building something great. An extra six months or a year won't change that. We're now all looking forward to 2021, our 175th anniversary year, hopefully a time when we can be out in the open and celebrate appropriately. I thank our awesome team members across the organization for their perseverance. Again, I am so proud to work with you. This pandemic is testing our resolve, but it has also shown our character and is proving what you can accomplish. Our future is bright because we're in it together. I also thank our board members for their continued insight, support and positive energy, and especially our chair, Michael Mueller, for his valuable counsel during these times and always. Lastly, to you, our shareholders. The recent market turmoil has been gut-wrenching, but you should also know that our organization is strong. We thank you for demonstrating your continued support through your investment in the bank. The Renton Bank Financial Group will get through this time even more determined to deliver a sustainable, long-term, profitable growth and performance. You are investing in something great. Be safe and thank you.